So today is Sunday and I normally don't make reviews on Sundays. It's my chill day just to get ready for the beginning of the week. But I posted a reel of the New Balance 990 V6 in Action Brunson collaboration. And some of you guys have reached out to me asking me, hey man, when is the review going to drop? You need to get this out ASAP. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let me get right into it to bring you guys this review. Because as we all know, this collaboration here is probably the most anticipated sneaker for New Balance to drop this year, 2023. So with that being said, let me show you guys a quick look and let's get into this review. So here they are guys, New Balance 990 V6 in collaboration with Action Bronson, AKA Baklava. These officially dropped on March 17, 2023 via the Action Bronson website for a retail price of $220. They also had a New Balance release about a week later, and of course, copying it through there was pretty much impossible. This is the first collaboration with New Balance and Action Bronson, which makes a lot of sense because we've seen Action wearing a lot of New Balance sneakers over the years, and he himself said that he got into New Balance sneakers back when he was younger, when his mother introduced him to the 992. In terms of the inspiration of this colorway, in an interview with GQ, Action pretty much said that he was inspired by colors and through colors, he can see a lot of different things. Which leads me into the details and colorway of this shoe because when I first saw it, I was kind of scratching my head. I was like, what was he thinking? Putting all these random colors together, but after watching that interview, everything does make sense. So starting with the midsole here, you have this blue color, which basically means water. And I absolutely love this blue here. To me, it looks amazing. On the upper part of the shoe, here's where things get very interesting interesting and according to action these colors mean different things to him you obviously have a combination of browns copper neon green colors and also gray as well the combination of the brown copper and neon green to action it basically represents a baklava pastry it also represents a crocodile kind of coming out of the water obviously you have the water bottom here with this blue midsole and it also reminds him of ninja turtles especially the ooze that basically converts the ninja turtles into mutants another detail about this copper color that you'll see throughout the mid part of the upper of the shoe here it's also reflective including the end logos here and this 990v6 definitely has a lot of reflective material the action confirm is one of his favorite features of sneakers especially ones that have a lot of reflective stuff you're also going to find some gray colors especially on the end logos the eye stays and some panels throughout the upper of the shoe and that gray color is to pay homage to the traditional new balance gray colorways and then on the inside part of the shoe you have this black insole you have the baklava new balance branding and that neon green color the sock lining here is in a dark green color all the way to the back of the shoe you will find some orange and purple colors as well these shoes come stock with these purple pink rope laces and they only come with one pair of laces and according to action he did not want the shoe to be modified he wanted the shoe to be worn as is so that's why you're not going to find any additional laces here in terms of the materials used here you have this mesh underlay and then on the overlays you have a combination of that nice brown suede that's definitely smooth and buttery high quality stuff here and you'll find a lot of reflective materials on top of the mesh underlay the tongue is primarily made out of mesh but you do have two type of mesh that they used here the upper part of the tongue has like that classic gym short mesh material and then in the bottom part of the mesh you have like a more traditional material here on the front of the tongue you have the baklava 990 v6 branding on top of this light blue layer around the ice stays and toe box area you're going to find some small strips that do have an olive green color especially the bigger piece that has the new balance branding on the lateral side on the heel counter you do have some 990 branding all the way to the back of the shoe above the heel counter you will find the new balance branding and also made in usa the missile and cushioning system on the 990 v6 features end cap and it also has fuel cell the 990 v6 is the first 990 model to feature the fuel cell technology flipping the shoe over to the outsole, so this is a beautiful outsole here because of these blues that they included here obviously you do have a mostly black outsole but this lighter blue that you'll find around the forefront part of the outsole to me looks really really nice and it kind of has like a translucent type material it's hard to really see unless you have these in hand but in my opinion this outsole looks very very nice you do have some new balance branding all the way to the heel 
part, endurance, fuel cell there in the middle. And then on the four foot part of this also, you'll find some additional New Balance branding with the year 1982, which is when the first 990V1 released. In terms of sizing with the 990V6, these are made in USA New Balance sneaker. If you've been following me for a while, I've always been preaching that for me, I go a half a size down for my regular size 10. So with these, I went with a nine and a half and they fit perfect. They fit very similar to my gray 990V6. However, one thing that you notice with the 990V6 is that they will feel a little bit tighter compared to like a 990V5 or a V4 if you have those because the toe box on these is a little bit more narrow than those previous models. However, once you wear these for a while and you break them in, they will definitely mold to your feet a lot better and you'll be fine. Since these are a collaboration, you don't have the option to the different fits that New Balance normally offers. Like if you have wide feet or very narrow feet, etc. So if you're concerned this toe box looks very narrow, then maybe consider going true to size with the 990v6. When it comes to comfort with the 990v6, after owning the gray pair for a while now, I do have to say that the v6s are very comfortable as well they definitely fit different than the previous models like the v5 v4s etc but one thing that i do have to give credit to the v6 is that they feel more secure they feel more of a performance shoe compared to the previous models they fit more like a lifestyle shoe in general here with the v6 if you really want to wear these for performance reasons i believe you could definitely do that here as well obviously these are a collab so for most people you're probably rocking these as a lifestyle shoe but like i said already the more you wear these you're going to break them in and they're going to fit better over time with the fuel cell technology on these v6s which is one of the highlights of this cushioning system i really didn't feel a major difference compared to the previous models i was expecting these to have more of a bounce but honestly you don't really feel that as much if you do it's probably just a little bit at least for me in my experience and the shoes come in this custom light gray made in usa box you have the New Balance branding there on the top as well. And then you'll find some Baklava New Balance branding there at the bottom. The interesting part of this box is that when you open it underneath the lid, you will find like this aluminum, kind of like a mirror type effect here. It is covered by this blue film to protect it from scratching i assume and then you do have this barcode here or this qr code i thought there was going to be something cool when you scanned it but it just takes you to the action bronson website and it kind of just gives you an update that all the pairs have shipped it would have been cool if you were going to get exclusive access to maybe some of his merch or perhaps maybe one of the future colorways that are going to be dropping i don't know when but hopefully soon but unfortunately it just takes you to his website nothing special here at least not yet so my final thoughts on this collaboration between new balance and action bronson definitely excited to have them work together because i'm definitely looking forward to other sneakers to drop we already know that there's going to be other colorways of this 990v6 we've seen the dark navy one and then there's also a yellow and gray one the dark navy one is definitely my personal favorite so i will definitely be trying to seek that colorway for sure but i'm also excited to see if action gets a chance to work on other models like a 993 maybe a 992 especially the 992 since that was the first new balance sneaker he had when it comes to the overall construction and built here no complaints maybe you'll find the usual glue stains throughout the upper of the shoe but overall the build is almost perfect when it comes to the colorway it's obviously going to be the main topic of conversation some of you guys absolutely love these some of you guys absolutely hate it and that's okay that's the beauty of sneakers we're not supposed to love all of them or hate all of them either you will definitely find a middle ground and if you don't like them fine skip it move on to the next one no problem but if you do love them and you want to go after them go and cop the sneakers that you love obviously these on the resale market are a little bit pricey right now i think for a nine and a half for example they're around the 400 450 range somewhere around there so i don't know what's going to happen if they're going to continue to go up or maybe drop on the resale market don't know for me personally guys this colorway is still hard to digest but who knows time will tell maybe i'll hold on to these maybe i'll let them go with the yeezy wave runner it was a shoe that i hated before and now i absolutely love it it's a shoe that i cannot get rid of at all and maybe the same thing will happen with this colorway i don't know but since i do like the navy colorway more i don't really know if this shoe will have a place if i get a chance to cop that navy pair maybe i'll hold on to these until i get that navy pair and once i get the navy pair i'll let these go i don't know but it's definitely an interesting colorway here action definitely hit his target by disrupting the sneaker world with this shoe especially a new balance sneaker that are usually known for being kind of boring or it's mostly gray every time you see a new balance sneaker you kind of see a gray shoe or you see a white shoe whatever here they definitely went to the other extreme and they made an interesting shoe absolutely so with that being said let me put these on and show you guys how they look on feet
Alright guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 990v6 in Action Bronson collaboration. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this colorway. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you still on the fence and you can't decide what to do? And like always guys, thank you so much for stopping by. To all the new subscribers, thank you. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you. Welcome to the channel. If you like this type of content, feel free to like it, comment, also subscribe. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page below and I'll also leave some affiliate links as well. So that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.